Would you class yourself as a caravaner who enjoys the finer things in life? If so, I think we may just have the thing for you here. It's the Heimer Nova S 545. And as tested in the spec we've got here, it comes in at over 41,000 pounds. Wow. So let's go and see what you get for all that money. Now, one of the reasons why British caravanners uh, flock towards German caravans in the first place is because of the perceived build quality. And that's uh, pretty much borne out with this uh, hefty Heimer here, which uses a construction method called P-U-A-L, which uh, in a nutshell means that it uses lots of closed pore foam that it uh, injects into the cavities between the inner and the outer wall, meaning it's a uh, total water imperviousness. And it's a caravan of real heft from these marvellously thick aluminium sidewalls to the quality of the, the, the joinery and the engineering of all the, the metal moving parts inside, really impressively built. Even before you've so much as loaded a pair of pillowcases on board this thing, it weighs almost 1600 kilograms. Now obviously that means you're going to need uh, a tow car of considerable heft to tow this comfortably. The A-frame is nice and long, which helps to uh, improve stability. And inside, all the heavy kitchen appliances are sensibly located right over the axle for maximum weight distribution. So as long as you've got that big beefy tow car batting for you, you'll be absolutely fine. Often I find myself rather underwhelmed by the lounges and continental caravans. This is very much the exception. It's, uh, it's really, really comfy. And for once, we have a, a U-shaped lounge where it's actually all usable. You can't always say that either. Proper leather upholstery is really good quality and feels really nice. And you've uh, also got uh, these um, headrests, which uh, might seem a bit gimmicky, but they are at least uh, removable. They just lift them out like this and so you can place them wherever you like so it's actually quite a, a nice touch especially if you're quite tall in the back the width it's not an optical illusion this thing is seven and a half feet wide on the inside and not seven foot ten on the extremities outside storage is absolutely immense including the usual uh, cavern underneath the uh, the double bed which is also accessible from the outside very very usable caravan and a very nice place to be now it's the promise of a posh ensuite bedroom that drives people towards this layout of the caravan in the first instance. And a posh ensuite bedroom is what you have here with a fantastically comfy double bed that has a neat trick up its sleeve in as much as the, the top of the mattress split to allow the mattress to rise individually. So if you like to stay up reading for a little bit longer than your partner, then that's a, a really neat idea. Plenty of lighting in here, uh, day and night as well, with a sunroof overhead. It has to be said that it's a wonderfully lit caravan, especially in the kitchen. Sitting here, I can see no fewer than seven lights, and everywhere else is pretty much the same with a combination of LED sunken lights, adjustable reading lights in the bedroom, and uh, right in the front corners are the two very neat lamps that look a bit like table lamps that you would have at home. So lighting has uh, really been given a lot of attention on board. Now, UK caravanners will be familiar with uh, this layout, the end bedroom with the corner washroom and separate vanity unit. It's a small but almost perfectly formed, does what it sets out to do very well. It's very nicely presented with twin screens front and rear for, uh, for showering and uh, an exceptionally elegant looking wash hand basin. So it's a top class facility, albeit on the, on the bijou side. Now the first thing you see when you open the door and come in is this wonderful kitchen and as far as wow factors go I don't think it gets any better. It's one of the finest caravan kitchens I think I've seen. Elegantly shaped, beautifully presented, wonderfully lit and with dual fuel hob and a microwave that's not perhaps the last word in user friendliness buried away behind this dual door lockers there. Plenty of work surface for two people, plenty of power points and uh, how's this for uh, a talking point at parties? It's a bespoke shelf, illuminated and with a PowerPoint for your coffee machine. It's uh, one of caravanning's finest kitchens. It's undeniably a fantastic caravan with imposing good looks outside and especially in, with the wonderful equipment levels, nice comfort, beautiful styling, but it is £40,000 as we're testing it here and that's an awful lot of money. Is it worth it? That's up to you to decide.